got planned for each other tonight. Got any uh, predictions, Danger? Um, Onyx Paradox was a really strong team when uh, <clears throat> tournament started in Bhutan. And uh, but now they've take uh, they've taken out a new uh, group from their company, and I I see that Prime is doing a lot better these days. I don't know why. I think they mixed up the players, I guess. But nevertheless, their skills have not uh, decreased this time. Seeing both of them are in the finals. What about you, Kazu? Mm, yeah, I feel the same way as well. Like I think like Oryx Prime has been. Uh, not necessarily like extremely well, but like they've definitely been doing a lot better compared to the previous tournaments. And uh, we got Onyx Paradox. Uh, they mix up their teams, uh, their players. I mean, so let's see how that uh, new chemistry works out tonight. Yeah. So we're currently in the <clears throat> banning phase, I guess. And what do you think about the ban? Uh, the support meta has gone down a lot. Don't you think so, Kazu? Uh, yeah, I guess with a like, new patch update, they have nerfed the support quite a bit, but uh, I'm still seeing them around like in the ranked matches, so I wouldn't be surprised if they still go for some kind of a strong support lineup here, but uh, we shall see. We shall see. And we have that song with Matilda banned, and as soon as we talk about support one, support heroes getting banned. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, but, uh, Matilda, Angela... That's probably going to be like a common dance here for the night. Mm. What do you think about Guinevere? Guinevere has been catching a lot of heat oh. these days in ranked matches and in oh, yeah. matches too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like uh, they've buffed up the damage in the early game, so like that gives more room for Guinevere to go for a like, tankier draft. Uh, they can like go for something like a Kufra, but uh, we never know though. Like, uh, <clears throat> what we've learned from the previous tournaments, Onyx Paradox and Onyx Prime, they like to, like, spice things up. And uh, we never know what they're going to go for. So let's see, let's see. Uh, you uh, think like they... Uh, the, that, uh, yeah, yeah. Do you think that Onyx Prime would, like, go for that... Uh, uh, that Carmela and... Uh, <clears throat> uh, Ixia combo? Like, we've seen that draft uh, quite a few times before, and it works. it worked really well for them. Yeah, yeah, they they really polished on that move uh, during the last tournament, but you never know. Maybe they switched up their gears, and now we see another two support bands: Onyx Prime with uh, Faramis ban and Paradox with Angela ban. So support still is going strong. The last buff the support uh, heroes got is really strong. So let's see what they're gonna ban out next. Okay, so <clears throat> one one's getting a lot of uh, heat, you know, Got these the days. Impressions. Why do you think so? To agree, to agree. Uh, I guess you got like a little buff. I I didn't think like it was a strong buff or anything like that, but. Uh, yeah, definitely. She has been. We've seen like a one-one quite a lot these days, but who knows? Uh, she she's not like uns, uh, not the like the strongest marksman in my group. She's definitely strong, but uh, yeah, she's got a lot of counters as well. And I think both the teams knows about it, so they might not actually pick for it. But I can never expect. Uh, we're seeing a Boxia ban, all right. I mean, he's yeah. ever since he's got that uh, increased duration on the on his CC. He's been a pretty good uh, hero to pick in the uh, games. So, okay. The band yeah, out I think the Boxia Boxia makes sense. Getting, Boxia is getting like, picked a lot these days because of the support meta, no? Anti heal. His mm -hmm. ultimate yeah, yeah, yeah. really effective against supports. We see Gunevere banned true. from Onyx Prime, and I wonder what the third ban is. is oh, and here comes a Jiggy ban. They do not want the ulti CC. Prime does not like it. So I think they might go for like a CC hero like Atlas or Minos or <clears throat> Lolita. You never know. Yeah, yeah. Seems like it. Uh, with that the Jiggy banned out, like, 
So that gives a room for like a lot of uh, AOE CC heroes like Kufra and all that in the drawer heroes. Uh, I mean, they banned out the Angela, Matilda, like the strong support heroes. So yeah, I guess that makes sense. Uh, Rafaela is still here. Yeah, and so is the Florin, and right? Florin. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the world, then let the world All right, it's, a Yu, it's gonna be a Yu Zhong from Team Onyx Paradox. First pick Yu Zhong. Uh, ever since the buff, he's been like a very strong lane dominator. So, yeah, that's a very favorite pick on the EXP. See value in me. Onyx Paradox will claim him that, and uh, Onyx Prime going with the uh, Fredrin here. A very a flex hero, I think. Your team. He's got a very flexible role. He can go for a jungle, he can go for EXP or roam as well. So that's a smart pick here. And we're seeing a Bruno pick. Oh. Yeah, uh, I've seen Prime play Fedrin <clears throat> a lot. So Fedrin and Yuzhong, I think it's between them because uh, Sobji's uh, Fedrin play is really nice. His retry is always on point. But uh, Zoro, Makiti Zoro, is very flawless with his. Uh, combo, petrified combo with Yu Zhong. So let's see how this goes. It's my way or the highway. Ooh, an Ixia. They go for that. Like uh, paradox. Yeah, paradox is trying to take his main. Hmm. <laughs> so it's more like a snipe pick, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Seeing a Berat here. Uh, I guess this Berat is the jungler, right? For Onyx Paradox. Yeah, yeah. I'm really waiting for the Berat's <clears throat> revamp. His ultimate has is completely different. He eats people up quite fast now. Unlike his previous <laughs> yeah, he, ulti. Yeah, he charges like a Croc in the coming up uh, yeah, in yeah, the yeah. advanced number. So that's going to be really fun to play. But yeah, we will need I've to seen wait. Him for combo with Croc also. Using his wall. Okay, Onyx Prime. I will choose my own. And Arlot. Okay, all right, all right. So, I guess they want that Fredrin to go into the jungle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it could be a I... hyper Arlot. You think? Yeah. No, I think uh, Sobji is gonna play Fredrin hyper. That's what he usually goes for. I see his main picks are Fedrin these days. Plus, uh, you can see Prime with a lot of dash heroes, so I wonder how Paradox is going to counter them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, usually when you see a lot of dash heroes, you think like something like Fovius, right? Fovius, Minisita, yeah, yeah. but uh, they've already picked out their EXP as well as their jungler, so yeah, I don't think they have the room for Fovius or Minisita. And... We have a Lilia ban from Onyx Prime. Apparently, they do not want that mage because she's really slippery, hard to catch her. Yeah, if you if you don't like kill her, if you don't like burst her immediately, then with her ult, she can like uh, turn the tables around you. What is gonna uh, paradox got a ban? <laughs> and it's a Roger All ban. Right. Hmm. This is getting interesting. You don't usually see these bands in uh, important plays, but it seems like uh, since they know uh, this is they've played with each other before, they're banning their main heroes. I don't know. Seems weird. Yeah, that, yeah, that's probably it. Like they're ban. They know like each other's favorite heroes, so like they're banning out the, those heroes. Yeah, taking out their comfort heroes. So last mm -hmm. ban for Team Onyx Prime. Among the planes exists Your the equilibrium. E, all right. I was made for. <laughs> Prime's bands are magic based heroes, huh? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I wonder what they're thinking right now. As you, as you can see, they've really banned the heroes that are really uh, annoying to play, deal with. Like, you even are out, unless you burst her out, she won't stop. Even when you use Franco's ult on her, she just stays in the same place. It doesn't cancel her ult. 
There's nowhere for the evil to be. True, true, true. We have a Rafaela ban. Okay, so okay. all the support metas are out. Okay, Prime thinking to go for Novaria. Uh, Novaria she, she hasn't been nerfed, right? Yeah, she hasn't been nerfed, uh, so she's good. Uh, Nova, uh, most of the mages have been nerfed because of the item, no? Trunkian, Lightning Trunkian, uh, since. Oh, yeah. Uh, got this thing changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think, like, it's still good, though. I mean, I'm not, I don't want necessarily want to say, like, it's a nerf, but uh, I, I think, like, it's still good. I think it depends on the play style, good. no? That is true. And that is true. We might have a Valir because Valir can counter <clears throat> Kadita. Yeah, she can't go for that burst combo on that yep. Valir. And uh, she can't jump exactly jump on Yu Zhong or that Berat. So he's they're like too tanky to deal with. Okay. Who'll okay. be a Valir? And Minotaur. Uh, Mm -hmm. So, uh, as a Kadita, I guess like the ideal target would be on Ixia, but that'll be really difficult because they've got uh, that Pirates, they've got that Minotaur, they've got that Yu Zhong as well to cover uh, their marksman. And she can't exactly go on Valir. She's got the, he's got the Purify as well as that Flicker. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a difficult game for Yuan there, but we'll see how he makes these two, uh, things work. No, but you never know. Uh, if Valir has already used his uh, third skill, then there's a high chance Kadita might just swoop in at that time and kill him. Or when Barat does not have enough stacks, or easier during his ult. It depends on the playstyle, so let's just trust him on this once. I am the power of light. Ooh, I okay, so with... From Prime. Yeah, yeah. So with Kaja, like, they can, uh, they can make this Kadita work, so... Yeah, Yuan's job got much easier with that Kaja pick. <laughs> They have practice kids. <laughs> Seems like a <clears throat> practice role. So this should be interesting here. Yeah. We have, we're seeing very uncommon heroes in today's lineup, guys. So uh, we don't know what might happen because uh, if the combo hits, then it looks like it might be good for either team but you never know uh, each side has good uh, escape mechanisms and each side has uh, very good burst damage so it all depends on their play true 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 uh let's see okay i do have to say that onyx paradox they i think like they've got a stronger laning presence or lane dominance but uh, We'll see how Onyx Prime deals with that. I mean, if you lose the uh, laning phase, then it doesn't matter how good your draft is, right? Yep. No, we already see aggression in the mid lane. You know, Valir is actually supposed to be aggressive in the beginning because of his uh, first Kill, which is really strong and are they gonna invade the buff? Nope, didn't get it. Good try from Kaja. Okay. So, what's going saying, on, I guess? Yeah. yeah, I was saying, uh, Valir needs to be really aggressive in the beginning phase because uh, he has a lot of CCs which can help him really dominate his lane. True, true, true.
Valir hmm, is dominating mid lane. Huh? As I said, he needs to be aggressive. Uh, he's really trying to push them back so he gets farm earlier so he can rotate. Because uh, I've seen a few Valir roams and they actually do real good. So let's see what Nima is thinking of, Kenchap is thinking of. The turtle fight has began and Barras is already there. It's almost over. Yeah, you show me his first spell and uh, oh, tofu, tofu. He's been gone, and I think he's gonna die here. Yeah, he will be dead. But uh, Prime, they but they want to fight. They want some revenge kills here, but uh, they don't get the damage. Inventor comes in, and uh, oh no, oh no, Fredrin gets taken down. Double kills for the Yushal. So yeah, oh. that was a little unfortunate. But uh, they lo they lost the turtle, so I I don't know what they were doing there. I guess they should have backed out, but I guess like they thought they could take on Paradox there, but uh, yeah. Yu Zhong is just like a very strong hero in the early game. You don't want to fight that Yu Zhong. Yeah, yeah, he's really strong early game. And <laughs> uh, they took out their hyper, so this is not a very bad start for Onyx Prime. Okay. Minotaur, we got Minotaur helping out Cod Fipture on the top lane, and uh, Bruno. Kaja is also at the top lane. I don't think they know Kaja is there. Okay, we can see Valir. Valir coming from the side here. They want to gank this Bruno, but uh, yeah, he's playing safe. He's got that Kaja as well to protect him, so he's fine. Paradox will decide to back out, so yeah, they're not going to find anything on the top lane. Oh, Sobchi, he wants to go in. Minotaur is right there, and okay, he will decide to back out. Trading a bit of a blow there, here and there. Not much going on. The uh, Paradox, they are along the lead with the four kills. As okay. you can see, bot lane is getting uh, quite aggressive. Young is playing to his uh, merits. He already yeah, he's the uh, gold, and yeah, the turn was yeah, almost like... gone. Yeah, yeah, he's he's frozen the lane, and uh, Ice Cube having a bit of a difficulty. Oh, the Petrify combo comes out, and he's taking so much damage. The Shaw Residue is gonna be popped out, yes, and I think he's dead here. Yeah, oh, he's gonna die to the tower. Nice but... Yeah, yeah, but he got something. the towers, bro. I think it's fine. And the turtle is going on here, yeah. down to half HP. Who's gonna get this? Let's see who's the retro god here. Sobchi trying to go for the steal. Yeah, Alchemist comes in. Oh no, no, Kadita Popo comes out, and uh, the turtle gets slain. And Sobchi, he needs to be careful. He's gonna back out. He'll be fine. All right, all right, all right. So. One also backing out, he's got that skill one dash, so he'll be fine. So, Onyx Paradox, they're on the lead right now. Um, Fedrin is quite useless without his first item, first helmet, and he can really start giving damage because uh, most of his damage is based on uh, his HP. The less his HP is, or uh, with the bar on because of his passive, he can do a lot of damage. So. Let's see what happens in mid game. Almost in the mid mid game, so yeah, I think like we can see it's safe to say that Oryx Paradox they've won the leaning phase here. They're dominating top, yeah. they're dominating pop. They've got two turtles, so they are ahead right now. But let's not count masters... the prime out yet. Oh, we're seeing uh, are... getting a pause here. Yeah, yeah. sorry. The masters on. are doing really good in this match, aren't they? <laughs> Yes, they are, but <coughs> who knows? The the student might shock them. Yeah, you never know. On Prime, they, they've so. made some like they've made they've made some very impossible looking epic comebacks before in the past. So I wouldn't count them out yet. Yeah, the synergy is quite good for a team that was just made. So <clears throat> I still have hope for them, and there's not much of goal difference, I guess. So they can still catch up. It's just uh, 2k gold, but it's quite huge for five minutes. But still, it doesn't mean they can't catch up. They just need a turret and a turtle, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true, true. But uh, Onyx Paradox, they're really good at like keeping their lead. So if this continues, then they're just going to like snowball out of control. Yep. Prime needs to make a, some kind of a move. They need to get a good team fight for them, but... Look at top lane, they're losing the tower already. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. 
Going on the Bruno, he's got the flicker, he's gonna flicker out. He's being slowed down, I think they want to dive this tower. Yep, they will, and that's the ki that's kind of the kill for a spit's nest here. And uh, yeah, Onyx Paradox, they're looking dominating right now, and uh, Onyx Prime, not quite sure what they can do. I mean, there is a third turtle there, something might happen there. And look at Paradox, they want to go for the mid lane next. They are relentless, maybe. Going one tower option. Oh! Kadita combo comes out, but it does nothing. So, yeah, at look least at it all. the wave. He did, he did, I guess. But that does mean that his uh, ult is in cooldown now, so they won't have that Kadita ult for the next of a team fight here, and uh, yeah. Another wave has come in for Onyx Paradox. Uh, they're gonna claim this mid tower. Okay, no, no, they're backing out. They want, they want the turtle. They want to prioritize the turtle. And uh, I mean, Sobchi is right there behind him as well. Where is Peraz? Okay, Peraz is in the jungle. I do believe he's gonna make his way to the turtle. And Sobchi, okay, he's starting the turtle right now. They're gonna spot this out. Do they want to go in? Tofu is right behind him. Right behind Sobchi. Oh, Tofu actually flickers in. Goes on him and the uh, Kadita ult comes out and they're gonna get the kill on Quad Victor and the turtle is down to a quarter HP. Who's gonna get this? Oh no! Peraz gets it again! Onyx Paradox getting all the turtles and now Onyx Prime, they're in a bit of a thick soup here. The ult comes out. No, they get the kill on Densung at least. And uh, they're trying to chase someone. I don't think they will get anyone. Okay, okay, so at least something good going on for Team Onyx Prime there. I mean, they didn't get the turtle, but at least they got the kill on that Densung. That's something yeah, right. Uh, Yuzhong took their uh, second turret on the bot lane. <laughs> he didn't care about the turret. <laughs> he has so much trust over his partner right now. Yeah, he's he like, yeah, you guys, you guys got it. Okay, so this is looking... Oh, oh, oh. Black Dragon form comes out, Petrify combo, jumps on Spetsnaz, but he's got the flicker, so... Didn't get the kill there, but still. I think Onyx Paradox, they're in the driver's seat right now. Going in, Tofu. Oh, the Divine Judgment comes out. Ah, oh, no. Arlot going on. The Yuzhong, the Yuzhong will be taken out. Double kill for the Kadita. So, yeah, the Onyx Prime, they're not out of it yet. They're getting kills here and there. And uh, Onyx Paradox, they're... Okay, so they didn't get the mid tower. So this is a successful defend there from Team Onyx Prime. Yeah, I think if they try and secure the mid tower first, it'll be really good for them. But it seems like they're going for the top turn right now. Uh, they want to even the playing field a little bit since uh, their partners are just moving on from base right now. And Bruno takes the top turn. Are they gonna push? No, they're backing out. Yeah, yeah, Onyx Prime, they're not out of it yet. They are showing some signs of life right now. <laughs> Uh, they have actually reduced the goal difference, so uh, you never know. They have late game heroes, especially Kadita. She needs two items to uh, fully kill tanky heroes. That is true, they does need some damage and uh, Paradox will claim the mid tower, but actually Frederick goes in, he's surrounded, where is his team? His team is around the back line and I think he's gonna be taken down here. Sobchi. Not sure if he can fight this, he's pretty tanky, he's really tanky, but he will be finally taken down and uh, wow, Ice Cube actually comes in here, he wants to get something going on, but it was a bit too late, the Frenton already died, so I'm not sure about that move there, I guess he, he wanted to do something, wanted to get some kind of a revenge kill, but unfortunately that save your body syndrome kicks in and he's gonna die with his friend as well. So we got another boss yeah. going on here, uh, looks like some network issues going on. Yep, I think the Prime might be discussing their strategies or it might be some network problem because you can see them lagging a little bit and <clears throat> their decision making is all over the place right now. Prime really needs to get their head in the game. I think they're be being played. They're in their enemy's flow right now, no? So they need to learn, to, uh, they need to try to break that flow and Kadita has been trying and she actually had uh, <clears throat> Uh, reduce the goal difference, but now they have like uh, 3,000 3, gold increase. So you never know. And the Lord has formed, mm -hmm. so who's gonna take this Lord, Kazu? Is Vedrin gonna finally beat Barats? <laughs> uh, I don't think so, because Onyx Paradox, they're going for the Lord right now, so 
Fredrin, I don't think he'll be spawning in time and they might become a bit late here. Look at Densong. Densong and Kenrop. Making sure that Onyx Prime does not make a move. Staying in the outskirts of the lot area, so yeah. The slot is gonna go to Onyx Paradox. No contest will come out. Oh, and the bottom lane actually! Finally got thing that annoying Yu Zhong. That was a good read from Onyx Prime. They knew that uh, Onyx Paradox, they were doing lot and most of the heroes was gonna be on the top side of the map and they got the kill on that Yu Zhong. Trying to go on Sobchi, but Sobchi is quite tanky. He's be he'll be fine. Oh, Arnold actually uses the ult. He wants to go in. Neutral actually flickers. Oh, he whips his ult. He does not catch anyone. Ixia call. Ult comes out and look at this damage from Ixia. Oh my god. Ice Cube gets taken down. Oh, no, no, no. So that was a bit of a botch initiation there. Yep. I think he was banking on the tower, but it just got destroyed. Yeah, so Rune I think he was just a... like... Oh, yeah. yeah. You were saying? Yeah, I was just saying that Sobchi was... Oh, actually! We got a team fight going on. Kadita, there was a good ulti from Kadita. It did a bit of a damage, but not enough, apparently. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I was just saying that uh, I think Sobchi, he's like just trying to like bait the enemy. But uh, unfortunately, Arno thought that he was going in and he just jumped in and uh, did not get the perfect initiation there for his teammate. And uh, look at this Ixia ulti coming out again. Ice Team is going to be taken down. Yes, he will be taken down. And Yu Zhong comes in with this Black Dragon form. And uh, this is chaos. Chaos, chaos, and uh, Onyx Prime, will they be able to defend this? This Lord is down to quarter HP, and look at this combo from that Petrify combo from that Yu Zhong. That's a good control coming out, and uh, Team Onyx Prime, they're... the heroes are dying left and right. But they did make that defense, yeah, so they're going to defend their base. They're not out of the game yet. Oh, it was a pretty close, though. It was pretty close. Look at that base down to a half HP. That was really close, and now they're going for the top tower, and they might go for another base push here. Top tower will be taken out. I don't think they can defend this, but okay, they're trying to defend this. Tofu actually commits the divine justice and ah 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 Sobchi, 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 Sobchi. He's being slowed down, he's being damaged, he's being harassed. Kadita comes in, ult comes out, but uh, again, not able to get the kill. And Ixia ult comes out a bit too late, but doesn't matter. He clears the wave and they're gonna claim that mid tower as well. So this base is completely exposed now. And uh, Onyx Paras, look at this. They're trying to kill the Barat, but the Barat is just so janky. They're just not able to kill this Barat. Oh man, this is this 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 Barat is proving to be a bit of a problem there for Team Onyx Prime. Like, uh, they can't exactly go. They can't they go go over him and go for the backliners. So what do you do here? Hmm. No, Bruno is actually supposed to have really high damage during the late game, but Ixia's ulti is really making him go back. And yeah, like that, he can't... Uh, <coughs> yeah, yeah. And the tanky can't. heroes is getting killed because they have, have stuns in their team. Especially with Valir, they can't really get close to their uh, opponents. Yeah, on and the bottom lane here, oh. Bait. oh! He's got the black dragon form, he's out. Just gonna yoink the fuck out of there. Okay, so this lord will go uncontested again. Okay. Two I don't lords say and this. three turtles. <laughs> yeah, Oryx Paradox. They've been on the lead from uh, minute one. Yeah, I was saying that this uh, Bruno. I mean, he does decent damage, but he do he does need to be like. In a little bit close in the team fight, but that Ixia ult and that Valir slows us, making it pretty difficult for him. Yep, yep. <clears throat> See, Kadita is really trying her best. But... Yeah, he's trying, he's trying, but fortunately, he does not have the items to burst his enemy. And actually, on the bottom lane, Valir gets taken out, and the Black Dragon farm comes out. He tried to save his friend, but that was a bit late. Okay, so it is four versus five now, but with the Lord, will they be able to defend here? Okay, okay, okay. They're trying to they're trying to clear the wave, but uh, Yuzhong doing good, good job. They're distracting the team Onyx Prime, and oh, I think I guess the monster kill on that Yuzhong. You see, ult comes out, but they got the control. They they they're actually doing it. God, Victor gets taken out. Sobchi down to a quarter HP. Oh no, he gets eaten by the Veras, and I think he's gonna die here. So without Sobchi, I don't think they can defend this. It's just Tofu and Ice Cube there. 
Ja, ja, I think this is game. Rouse gets taken down. Alchemist actually gets taken down. Oh, okay. Yep, that is gonna be game. So, our Onyx Prime, they were pretty good on the defense, but unfortunately, yeah. I see Team <clears throat> Onyx Paradox, they were just too far ahead in the farm. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Seems like uh, <laughs> their aggressiveness really paid off right now. They knew they were in the lead and they just kept pushing through. So, it was quite a nice. Uh, raw tactic we got from our next paradox and congratulations to them for winning winning the first round uh let's see how the second round goes yeah onyx prime they do need to like i think they need to change up change their draft a bit i mean it's not a bad draft by any means but uh, yeah onyx paradox they had the superior draft in my opinion yeah <clears throat> So Kazu, who do you think is gonna take the next the next yeah. match? Prime needs to step up their game. I think they might have something up there, Steve. Especially you on. Yes, yes. Uh we never know. Like Onyx Prime, they've shocked me before in the past, in the past tournaments, with their never before seen kind of drafts, but uh, let's see what they're gonna come up in the next game. So I'm not I'm not they're not out of it yet. I'm still rooting for Onyx Prime. But the Onyx Paradox, man, in that first game, they looked so dominating. Okay, uh, guys, we'll be back after a small break. Uh, we need to, I think we need to let the team strategize a bit. So we'll see you in a while.
puzzle. Okay, welcome guys. This is the second match and uh, between Onyx Paradox and Onyx Prime and let's see will Onyx Prime take one more victory to fight their third match or is Onyx Paradox going to win this championship? Anyways, I really thought uh, Onyx Prime had a good comeback in the late game during the first match, but uh, seeing how it turned out, it seems like uh, Paradox really knew what they were doing. They knew how to push forward, as I said before. <clears throat> and now we're in the pick and banning phase and I'm um, sorry I think my friend Kazo has some uh, connectivity issues he'll join us soon so you can listen to me talk right now well, hello hello <laughs> oh yeah he's here yeah hello yeah Kazo I was telling I was saying how the first match uh, was uh, the late game of the first match. Uh, Prime really looked like they had a chance to like push through, right? But uh, Paradox didn't really give them a chance. And we have Tofu with uh, ban on Yu Zhong. <coughs> Hello. Ban. Yeah. Hello. I can hear yeah. There was some. Yeah. Okay. Here, sorry. Uh, no worries. No worries. I was okay, monologuing so like an idiot. <laughs> Please continue, continue. <laughs> uh, no, no. I've already said it twice. I'm not going to say it again. <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, Onyx Prime really hated... Uh, Onyx Prime really hated Yu Zhong, so that's going to be their first ban. And Paradox <laughs> is going to stick with their uh, play, stick with their <clears throat> support meta ban. So Angela's going out first. Mm -hmm. Uh, they're probably gonna ban the Sabiros, in my opinion, right? That Matilda, Paramis. <clears throat> it feels okay. like there's gonna be more open slot for uh, support teams, support uh, heroes. I'm sorry, uh, this game because now they are banning based on the heroes paradox might pick. And I have a feeling Prime uh, Onyx Paradox also might ban Kadita because she was really a handful in the second game. True, true, true. Yuan was really good on that Kadita. Okay, we're seeing a Valentina instead. Mm -hmm. Prime thinking to go for something like an Atlas, maybe? <laughs> We might maybe, see that. Maybe you never know. And Farami span from Onyx uh, <clears throat> Paradox. Sokazu. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Do you think Prime might try and take <clears throat> his revenge? Student might take his revenge on the master. Ah, uh, def definitely. They're gonna go for something we've never seen before. Craft, if I know them, uh, right? Ten seconds I left here. Ban. Yep. See value in me. And oh, Fedrin, all right. You should. Didn't stop you play Fedrin. <laughs> it's like he, he doesn't want he his did, own so... teammate to play. <laughs> so I guess like they don't want. They got something planning, maybe. Danger. Like they got yeah, uh, yeah. a draft ready in their mind, but uh, they didn't want to give that threat into their opponents, so they banned it out for themselves. Yeah, Onyx Paradox uh, has a really good Fedrin player. <laughs> you see him soup out of nowhere, uses ult and take the lot away, so I can see what they're trying, not giving their opponents. Hmm. God with Juru with his uh, third ban, and then Tofu's gonna do his first pick, and Matilda's gone. Your team is picking. 
Uh, Matilda mm. is a very strong support. You s- always see her getting banned because she's kind of difficult to deal with, especially in her alt during the early phases. So they didn't want Onyx Prime to take it. Yeah, she does like so much damage as well, even as a roam or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're gonna ban it out, and uh, they left the Guinevere open, so Sobchi gonna lock onto that Guinevere. Could be mm. EXP. Was- could be jungle. I've seen Guinevere jungle more these days because uh, Guinevere's buffed, no? <clears throat> and her, because of her blue buff, she really gets to do a lot of damage on her opponents. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, Danger, in your opinion, what do you think counters Guinevere? Guinevere, um, I think you need suppress for her. Because she has a really wide range of uh, escape skills. But uh, right now, she's already countered because they already took Diggy. The Diggy, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Baxi has a really good pick because Diggy is not tanky. Diggy is a very squishy hero, so uh, Baxi needs to cover that. Alchemist really thought ahead and picked Baxi. Mm-hmm. And we're seeing Yuan the warrior. This hero is uh, very difficult to catch in the team fights. Does a lot of damage from long range. So let's see how they're gonna deal with this Novaria. Mm-hmm. Usually, the one to catch Novaria is Yu Zhong. So I see why they banned Yu Zhong first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've been waiting for too long. Okay, carry. Yeah, a tank killer missed us. I think that she uh, Spectrans took carry to deal with <coughs> Baxia and got whip gear with uh, Bruno. I think that's a good choice because Bruno can actually kill carry fast if he, because since both of them only have one dash and both of them have taken flicker, so the range is going to be quite close. Yeah, it's all going to come down to like the positioning. In the team fights. Okay, we're seeing a Kaja ban. That's a respect ban here. I think Tofu really likes to play that Kaja, so they're banning it out. <laughs> okay. okay. Got fourth ban here for Team Onyx. Paradox. Uh... What do you think they should be banning um... out here? Mm-mm-mm. I don't know. I mean, the box here already picked out. Hmm. Valir? I guess because Valir was really annoying during the first game. And Paradox has not picked their the mage, so okay. they're focusing on the mage right now. The yeah, banning out that Lilia, and as you said, need to suppress. They panned out that Franco. Yeah. I don't think... I think Franco was a good choice. Paradox has been banning... This is the second time they banned Franco. So I think... The, uh, Onyx Prime has a really good Franco player. Hooks must be on spot, no? Yeah, I mean, like... Uh, <clears throat> Franco also, like, uh, does a good job against Diggy, right? Like He's got the ult, but... It doesn't matter if he, if you have a suppress ability. So yeah, that's a good yeah, plan there. Yeah. yeah, they took over two suppressed oh. heroes. True, true. And Tofu bans Teresla. And Teresla is being picked a lot these days. <laughs> it has nerf, but his late game has actually been improved. So if they reach his late game, uh, they don't want Onyx Paradox to pick a late game heavy damage hero. Okay. Are we... Gonna see a Freya. Ah, okay, now yeah, going I for the export right there. there the yeah, yeah, yeah. That... Seems like they're picking on a uh, tanky EXP so that they can uh, compensate for the diggy pick they did. Yes, yes, indeed. They've got uh, two strong frontliners now that box here at export, and they've got a diggy covering for. Both these tanky heroes, as well as for that marksman, Bruno. 
Okay. What's Ice Cube and Tofu going to be? Mage the... EXP. I don't think there's going to be a Mage EXP because magic damage will be cancelled. Okay, Esmeralda. Oh, that's a good pick actually for that Diggy. Yeah, but it's just going to be for Diggy, so. And the stun doesn't work. Okay, Hilda. Hmm, alright. So, do you think we're gonna see Tofu invading the jungle early on? Um, There's gonna be a high chance he might do that because he has sprint. First skill and sprint really helps uh, Hilda get in and get out easily. But uh, you don't know if Jiggy takes his second power first, then it's gonna be quite difficult for him. Yeah, that Hilda level 1 Hilda is really strong, but he does need to be careful, especially with that uh, Boxia slows stacks as well as that Diggy stun. So, alright, let's see what's gonna happen. And we got a last and pick, Kadita again. <laughs> yep, Kadita from Paradox this time, so maybe the Master's trying to teach the student how to play the hero. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see if Kenrop can do a better job or not, but I'm rooting for Onyx Prime. What about you? Yeah, I'm still with Onyx Prime right now. I want to see a third match. I am not sleepy at all. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, the pick, uh, Onyx Paradox pick is quite uh, nice right now because I think Bruno Digi meta is still on. And uh, the goal laner might have a hard time dealing with this combo. Especially after Diggy has uh, his second skill, it's going to be really difficult. Since Bruno just needs a few hits. Five seconds till the enemy reaches true, true, true. Smash them. Oh, 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 it's all going to come down to the lead stage, right? Yep. They do need to make sure that uh, this <coughs> Spetsnaz uh, carry does not go out of control. So yeah, we're seeing Diggy and Bruno on the top lane staying together, making sure that uh, Carrie does not get the best farm in the game. That would be troublesome to deal with. And uh, okay, Kyle Alchem is going for the blue buff here. Guinevere going for the red buff, so they want to contest this little wanderer ahead to believe. And uh, that means that uh, Spitzness is going to be alone on the top lane. He's going to be, be annoyed by that Tensung Diggy. Yep. yep. <laughs> Alright, so where so is Tofu? contest. They got both going for the bus first. Mm, yeah, they've not the lethal both of the hypers. And uh, okay, you can see Tofu made his way to the top lane here to help out that carry. Having a bit of a difficult time, but with Tofu, you have a slightly better time now. And look at this Tofu going so aggressive. Deals good bit of damage to both that Bruno as well as that Tiggy. And we're seeing a jungle invasion here. Alchemist gonna steal. Okay, okay, okay. It's looking to snatch away some of that jungle creep. Oh, first blood actually comes out. Tofu gets taken out. So, oh, that's really bad. Gary, he had a tough time for the like for the first uh, one two waves, and now they they fed that Bruno. <clears throat> yeah, the Bruno DK combo is uh, really on meta. Because uh, Hilda tried to go in and Diggy just caught him inside. And Bruno just needs a few yeah. shots, so it was good thinking of Diggy. Yeah, yeah, on the bottom lane here, X Pork. They, they went on X Pork, uh, did good damage, but he got the trigger. And oh no! <clears throat> Sopchi actually catches the X Pork, and yeah, he's gonna be taken out. And Alchemist, uh, he does not have the items right now to do sufficient damage. So yeah, the first couple of fights starts. Yeah. 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 Can rock checking the bushes. It's just tofu though. Diggy doesn't have so his ult, think... I think. Okay. Onyx Paradox with the first turtle as always. Uh, I think Prime might be getting a little angry at what's happening right now. <laughs> yeah. They're losing the turtles every single time right now, but uh, it's just the first turtle right now, so no worries, no worries. They still have two more to contest. 
Yep, yep, it's just beginning, so. Okay, okay. So, Jiggy is back on the top lane here. Helping out Nobody Bruno the and. Uh, yeah, spots out that 10 song, but. Okay, he's just gonna back out, he'll be fine. They really need to help this uh, <clears throat> carry, he's having a difficult time on the top lane to get some kind of arm. And on the mid lane here. Oh, oh, oh. Almost got the Katita, but uh, he's got that skill one as well as the passive, so he'll be fine. Mm -hmm. They're trying to gank on top lane. I think they want to feed their Bruno. Bruno gets fed yeah, but... mid game. It's going to be really tough for them. Yeah, Guinevere. Guinevere and uh, Novario also made their way to the top lane, but uh, okay, they're just going to back out both the teams. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane, Ice Cube having a good time here. He's zoning out Monkey T Zoro there. So, this is not looking too good for Monkey T Zoro. And uh, now the top lane actually here, they're going for a drive here. Tensong almost gets taken down, but he will survive. So, this Bruno getting fed again. Danger. Yep, and Novari almost got killed, but she used her flicker on time. Oh, 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 here, really here. Really really oh, he didn't have his ult, so that means he's gonna die to Sobchi here, I think. Going for the. Okay, okay, he'll be fine, he'll be fine, he's gonna skip. And that Arkham would have been really bad if he died. Lord, uh, Turtle. And Turtle's oh, gone to Paradox goes. again. Mm -hmm. Ice Cube tried to go. F he went for a steal, but unfortunate, he does not have the red tree. But Alchemist does. We're going to see Nova with a long shot. No, he missed. Ah, the rotation for Onid or <coughs> Onyx uh, Paradox is quite nice. They are not yeah, leaving okay. any holes. Two holes. They're keeping it up on the top lane here. Tofu actually going on Densung. Densung forced to use his. Ulti and okay, Tofu is gonna be taken down. I mean, that was a good attempt there, but I'm not sure about that. Like, he, he was like trying to force the Tiki ult, and yeah, the ult did get forced out, but he died as well. Oh, this good kill from Guinevere. Yeah, on the I bottom lane. Took revenge mm. for <clears throat> their EXP laner. And Look at the top lane here, top lane, top lane, Spitzness. He's being surrounded here. Got it, gonna come. Pit drive. Rough waves. And uh, there's gonna be tower now. Onyx Prime is playing right into Paradox hands, and I don't think I like it. <laughs> Give them a chance. Yeah, they're... <laughs> <laughs> they're having a rough time. They're having a really rough time, but still rooting for Prime. I don't think they're out of the game yet. Uh, bottom lane, bottom lane, Sobchi. Okay, he's just gonna escape. I thought he would like go on Alchemist there, but I guess he was just too tanky to go on. And a mega kill for Bruno. This Bruno is getting out of control now. This is really bad, really bad. He has quite a lot of range because he has his dash, he has flicker, and Diggy to hold down his opponents. So. Oh no, Sobchi! Being gone on here? Okay, no, he'll be fine. Okay, the third turtle spawned, so yeah, it's a contest. Bottom tower, bottom tower also taken down, so Sobchi will be spotted out. Oh, rough wave comes in. Is he gonna die? Oh, he will survive. With a sliver of HP there. And Corvipter actually comes in. Look at this damage from Bruno. Almost get the kill on Tofu. Tofu surviving with one HP. He will be forced to recall, so yeah, that's a lot of damage. So they will not be able to contest this. <clears throat> Turtle and Sobchi, he does need to be careful. They've been gone on here. Ulti is forced out, but yeah, that's not going to be enough. So, Pinavir gets taken down as well. And now I think Ice Cube. Ice Cube gets taken down as well. That's going to be a double kill for Monkey D Zoro. He was having a tough time in the early game, but man, he's popping off right now. Yep, yep. Gunivir <clears throat> is actually going for a 
tanky build as you can see she has molten essence and dreadnought armor and area yeah. spelled so i think that's why her attacks are not doing much damage but she's trying to tank for the team so we just need to wait and see what she does yeah. Hilda goes on Higgy. she's been Diggy, trying Diggy, this Diggy. for a Diggy. long Diggy. time oh no. does not get the kill on tensong and oh, oh and nova with the long shot <laughs> nice nice this well is what played, nova was well made for yeah that long range snipe <laughs> Okay, look at Monkey Tizoro, so aggressive in the enemy jungle. He's like, he's not afraid at all. Yeah, actually, um, looking at his items, he already has War Axe, so his life steal must be pretty good. Mm -hmm. And he's got that Ice one as well, so that's a lot of control coming from the Rex Pork. Yeah. Oh, Alchemist! Oh, we need to see what's gonna happen in the late game because Nova's damage only flourishes during mid game. Mm -hmm. It's always oh. going to be a 5 versus 3, 5 versus 4 fight. Look at Monkey Tizoro! Got the yeah. kill on Guinevere, that's the hyper down. And uh, he will escape with his life, he will. And Ice Cube gets taken down, so this tower is gonna go down as well. And okay, man. This is not looking good right now for Prime. Oh, oh, Tofu, Tofu, Tofu! He's actually going to go for Monkey D Zoro. He tried to go for that kill, but that was a bit late from Tofu. So this is going to be mega kill streak for Monkey D Zoro. Actually, uh, he was really smart. As soon as Hilda jumped on, he got into the grass, and Hilda's attack went on the neutral creep. <laughs> Zoro is really losing his head right now. The first lot and the gets, gets clean Alchemist. as well. Yeah, yeah, no contest. Okay, there is like 8000 gold difference, so it's gonna be really hard for Prime to do an epic comeback. They need a very good, uh, <clears throat> very good combo, or they need to kill Diggy and go all out. So. Mm, I think like they need to make space for this Gary and Novaria to do some damage. I mean, like Guinevere, he, he went for a tank build, right? So the damage is a bit lacking on the damage department. So yeah, all eggs and basket on that carry. We see Lord okay, from the bottom Lord. lane. Let's see if Prime can make the defense or not. Oh, Sobchi actually goes in! Okay! Forces out that ulti from Digi, but he's gonna be taken down by the Katitra. Oh no, Dofu almost dying as well. Monkey Zoro coming in hard, gonna get a kill on Space Nest. No, just barely. That was really close. Uh, they're not out of it yet. The Lord will be taken down. Oh no, Dofu gets taken down with that CC from that <coughs> Katitra. And look at Alchemist going half. And I don't think they can defend this. Double kill for the Bruno. Bruno's oh. still alive. And uh, this is game. Onyx Paradox will take the crown, Danger 7. Victory! Yep. Yep. I think their fault was not banning Diggy. Uh, I, mm. To be honest, even I had forgotten about Diggy. Because, like, uh, you don't, these days people don't really pick Diggy, but Bruno Diggy is a very good combo. Early game, Bruno got fed a lot, and we can see Bruno with an MVP. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, like they, <clears throat> they picked that uh, Tofu Hilda, I guess, to deal with that uh, Tiggy to like force out the ulti. But yeah, Tensung, he was really good. He was really patient, making sure not to waste his ulti too hastily. And uh, yeah, Team Onyx Prime were not able to counter this draft from Team Onyx Paradox. And Onyx Paradox will be the winners for the match tonight, Danger. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Uh, just a quick go over the stats. Uh, you can see um, <clears throat> Monkey T, Zoro, and God Whip Gear with the highest hero damage and uh, highest turn damage by God Whip Gear. Damage taken by uh, X Borg. As you can see, I told you, X Borg is really tanky, especially late game. 
and we can see highest team fight participation from Jiggy. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that Monkey D Zoro did a good job keeping Ice Cube on the lane. And yeah, this Esmeralda pick, like they, they picked it to like counter the Jiggy's shield, but that uh, Monkey D Zoro just kept Ice Cube so busy throughout the game that <laughs> that that counter never really came in handy in the team fight. Yep. Anyways, uh, congratulations uh, on X Paradox. Hope we see you again. And thank you all guys for watching. Uh, last words from Kazu. Uh, yeah, I just want to thank IG community for giving us the chance to cast tonight. It is a real pleasure and uh, thank you very much. Thank you everyone for joining and thank you, Danger. Sure. Good night. Good night, everyone. Nighty night. <laughs>